Good morning. Good morning. A whole bunch of you guys are here. It's great to see you kiddos. I love having you guys in church. And I hope you know that. Hi, Maxwell. Good to have you too. Okay, so did you guys hear the story that we are going to talk about today from the Bible? It's called the Transfiguration. It's a very big word. Did anybody hear that story from the gospel reading? Were you guys listening? Okay. Good. You always need to listen, especially whenever God's word is read. Okay? Um, can anybody tell me some things that happened in that story? Okay. Um, the cloud came and appeared before them, and they were afraid. And Jesus said to them, Don't be afraid. Listen to my son. Whatever he says. That's right. Listen to my son. Whatever he says to you. Where did it happen? Where did it happen? It was way up high somewhere. Okay. Uh, yes, ma'am? In the mountain. Yes, up on top of a mountain where Jesus took. Do you remember who Jesus took up there? Remember who Jesus took up there? Who were some of the people he took up there? There were just three of them. Okay. Well, I know this thing. Jesus took three people on a three of his disciples on a hike up top of this mountain. Anybody remember who they were? This island, do you remember? Moses. Moses was up there with Jesus. It was Peter and James and John. Okay, that he took up top of this mountain. Okay, and they fell asleep when they were up there. And when they opened their eyes and woke up, they saw that Jesus was shining like the sun, okay? He was shining like the sun. Now, have, have you guys, don't ever do this, but have you ever, like, glanced at the sun for a second? Can you look at it for very long? No, actually, it will burn your eyes and you will stop being able to see if you look at it for too long because the sun is so bright. But it says that Jesus, his clothes and his face Shown like the sun. Now, have you ever woken up uh, and as soon as you opened your eyes, was there a big light? Has somebody ever turned on a light when you walked in the room? What do you do when that happens? You go, oh! And you cover your face and it's too bright. That's what it was like for the disciples to look at Jesus. Now, I asked you who went up the mountain, but who else was up there? We said Moses was up there. Who else? Okay, Elijah and Moses. That's right. Those two people who are very, very important in the Old Testament. Moses was the one who gave the people the Ten Commandments, brought them down from the mountain, and instructed the people in them. He was a very significant, big leader. Okay? Elijah was the other one. Elijah was a prophet. He was somebody who spoke for God to the people. Okay? Two very, very important people. But Jesus, uh, but God came down in a cloud. God came down, yeah, literally, you said God came down in a cloud and he made one big point that we want to make sure that we listen to. The point was, God said, This is my son, Jesus. Listen to Okay? Now that's our whole lives, kids. Okay? As Christians and as believers in Jesus, our one biggest job in life is to listen to Jesus. Okay? To listen to God's Son. That is the one who God chose to bring and send down into the world to save us and forgive us and redeem us and guide us in a new life as Christians. So every day of our lives, our job, when we wake up in the morning, when we live out our days, and when we go to sleep at night, is to remember that God has called us as a church and as a people to listen to Jesus, His chosen and loving Son. Okay? Yes, Miss Ida, what's your question? They were terrified. You're right, they were terrified. Okay, so what I'm going to do in my sermon today is I'm going to 
because I'm going to tell the story of the transfiguration in a longer way. Okay, so you can listen to it. Just like you listen to all the other stories in the Bible, you can listen to it and you can think about what was it like to be a disciple of Jesus on top of that mountain and to hear God's word and we're called to listen to Jesus. Okay? All right. Good. Let's pray and then we'll sing together. All right? Let's pray together. Father in heaven, you sent your son Jesus to be our Savior. We pray, Lord, that by your Holy Spirit, we would always, always, always listen to Jesus, our Lord and Savior. It's in his name that we pray. Amen. All right, you guys can head back to your seats. And if you all will, let's stand together for our service.